concrete plant in Tarrant County is at the center of a growing controversy tonight. Our Amelia McGavro telling us why some people in Mansfield are concerned, saying that they feel this plant could do more harm than good. Hundreds of people are gathering here at this event center behind me in Mansfield, and it's all for a public hearing regarding the J7 Ready Mix concrete plant. And the debate tonight is really to clarify whether or not this plant is helpful or harmful. On the corner of Rendon and Rendon Bloodsworth Roads in Tarrant County, a concrete slab sits in an open field. It's the foundation for a potential new concrete batch plant by the company J7 Ready Mix, a plant that is right in Brandon McElroy's backyard. And I don't think a lot of people understand uh, how dangerous these things can be. McElroy has two sons with asthma and is worried the plant could put harmful chemicals in the air. And their health is very important to me and it's my job to protect them and that's where my voice is and my power of working so hard on this. McElroy says the community was not notified of their new neighbors until the foundation was really already laid. In response, McElroy created a nonprofit group called Green Air Solutions aimed at stopping the plant from being built. Those are very hard on your lungs, causing a lot of COPD and health issues, um, and especially young children and older adults. Mansfield ISD even telling us they are already planning to build both an intermediate school and high school nearby, both locations only about a thousand yards from the plant. You know, we're not here to harm anybody. Fernando Garcia is one of the co-managers of J7 Ready Mix, which is based out of Alvarado, and he says they were just unclear about the whole permit process in Tarrant County. Garcia also says they do not use any harmful chemicals like silica or limestone. The biggest thing is I know the, the pollution and stuff, and trust me when I say we're, we're taking every step, you know, precautionary that we need to to make sure that there's as minimal dust as possible. Although the future of the plant is far from concrete right now, it's clear when it comes to their positions, both sides are set in stone. And we're also told that this issue is being brought up tomorrow night at the Mansfield ISD school board meeting. And lawmakers also tell us that there are plans in place to increase regulations on environmental permits. Of course, we'll be following this whole issue, especially this issue in Tarrant County. In Mansfield, Amelia McGovro, CBS News, Texas.